joining us here in San Diego for the launch of our uh, latest iteration of the new 10th generation Civic lineup. You know, with each new variant that we launch, we're really upping the ante on Civic sporty and its premium character. Uh, from the coupe to the five-door hatch to the SI models and the much-anticipated Type R, uh, it will become clear today why we call this the sportiest, most ambitious Civic lineup we've ever put forth. Now, we're really coming off a busy 2015, the Euro Honda, as we called it, which included the launch of the HRV Pilot, a freshened 16 model Accord, and completely reimagined 10th generation <coughs> Civic sedan. Now, as we close out the year, uh, we closed out the year last year with an all time sales record for the Honda brand and also for American Honda. And that included a third straight year of retail sales leadership for four core segments that we compete in. That's the Accord, the Civic, the CRV, and the Odyssey. And you may be sitting there wondering, you know, why do we keep beating the drum emphasizing retail sales? You know, but the fact is, we believe that consumers, you know, they vote with their pocketbook, they vote with their hard-earned money, and it's also the best measure of market su success. And Honda led all comers last year in four of the five major product segments. So that was compact and mid-sized cars, SUVs and minivans, leaving only pickups. Moreover, for a fourth straight year, and for eight of the past nine years, CRV claimed the title of America's best-selling SUV. Now, while I'm on the topic of uh, sales, let me also mention, because we closed out uh, January sales, first month of the new year, last night. And this morning, we, we reported that the Honda brand set a new record for January sales. So, best January ever. Uh, we were up 8% uh, on a daily selling rate. You know, hard numbers, we we're uh, up a few hundred units. But we had uh, fewer selling days, so that worked to our advantage. But most importantly for this, uh, this meeting today, Civic, was up 43% year over year, and on a daily selling rate, it was up 54.9%. So we're really pleased with how Civic has gotten out of the gate. As some of you may also know, Honda is very strong on the uh, eastern seaboard of the U.S., which was hit by a major snowstorm and an ice storm uh, the third week of the month. So uh, that, combined with the fact that there were two less selling days, the month really speaks to the momentum that we have as a brand moving forward. So we're feeling pretty good about that. Now, one more note before we close the book on 2015 is that more than 99% of the Honda and Acura uh, car and light trucks that we sold in 2015 were actually made right here in North America. In fact, we even imported fewer vehicles than one of our D3 competitors. And increasingly, these products are being designed and developed here as well. In fact, looking at all the new product that we brought to market last year and have been debuting this year, the vast majority were designed and developed here in the U.S. And that includes the Civic Coupe that you'll experience today. And while 2015 saw four new or updated Honda vehicles come to market, 2016 is going to see even more new products. There's a reason why Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, marked Honda as a big winner in its car war study. We've got arguably the most aggressive new product cadence in the industry, including both passenger cars and light trucks. This year that includes the Civic Coupe, the Civic Hatchback, and a re-engineered Honda Accord uh, and that will be, uh, that'll be coming to market with our next generation two motor hybrid system. And before the year is through, a new hydrogen powered clarity fuel cell. Just last week, we provided some new details on our marketing plans for the new clarity. With pricing announced at around $60,000 
and a lease of less than $500 per month. Now over time, we intend to make the Clarity fuel cell available for lease and uh, eventually for purchase as well. We also continue to invest in the fortification of our light truck lineup. And that's to strengthen our offerings in a market that has a seemingly insatiable appetite for trucks, SUVs, and crossovers. You know, we kicked off our latest efforts uh, just a few weeks ago in Detroit with the debut of the new Ridge Line, which was our idea for what a Honda truck should be. And it's conceived around the needs of truck customers with active outdoor lifestyles. Further demonstrating our commitment to grow our light truck sales is a new commercial that will air uh, on this coming Sunday during the third quarter of Super Bowl 50. This spot stars the all-new Ridgeline, focusing on the distinctive features that make it the ultimate tailgating vehicle. So with so many vehicles, or so many truck buyers rather, you know, they're really passionate about football, this big game is the perfect setting to introduce the new Ridgeline. But then again, this is the Super Bowl. So we created what we think is a really fun story about how a man and his Ridgeline lead a flock of followers. So let's check it out. Each morning I get up, I die a little. Can't bear to stand on my feet. Take a look at yourself. Look in the mirror and cry. What you doing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I spend all my years believing you. Sheepdogs, we hopefully you can't lose. Uh, Ridgeline will deliver significant value to the growing mid-size pickup truck segment with superior driving dynamics, the most spacious and flexible interior, 8-inch display audio with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, our iVTM torque vectoring all-wheel drive, and a longer, wider bed with near 1,600 pound payload capacity. And Ridgeline also builds on the innovative legacy of the first generation's dual action <coughs> tailgate and in-bed storage trunk, which are still industry exclusives, with an all new truck bed audio system. Now you'll have the chance to check out this and, the, and experience all of this for yourself in the coming weeks. Now, as we also mentioned before, later this year, we'll introduce the all-new Odyssey minivan as well. And like virtually every other model in our lineup, both Ridgeline and Odyssey will offer the Honda Sensing suite of safety and driver assist technologies. And I have to say that I've enjoyed reading the reviews uh, that have come through in Civic and Accord with Honda Sensing. And that's mostly because I can see that you recognize that these technologies do, in fact, serve as the bridge to the highly automated vehicles of the future, but with technologies that are available in our vehicles today. But I digress. Back to our mission. Our mission today, hey, we were thrilled to kick off the year, our year, this big sales year, with the North American Car of the Year Award for the new Civic Sedan. And we look forward to building on this success with the continued rollout of new Civic models, starting with the new Civic Coupe. This new Coupe benefits from all the major improvements that we've made to this 10th generation Civic platform, wrapped in an even sportier new design that was developed jointly 
by both our California and uh, Japan-based design teams, but with the final touches perfected uh, at HRA LA. Now, in addition to the coupe, we have another little surprise for you today. During our sedan launch events uh, last fall, we heard from more than a few of you about your desire for a manual transmission model. We weren't really in the position to talk about it last fall, but I am pleased to tell you today that the turbocharged Civic lineup, including sedan, coupe, and five-door, will include a turbo six-speed manual. In fact, we have a turbocharged sedan with that six-speed manual transmission for all of you to try out today. And we look forward to hearing your impressions of that vehicle. We see this as just one more reason the coupe will help the Civic lineup continue to lead in sales to young buyers, where it already holds the title as America's top selling car with under 35s. And I'll hasten to add that it's followed by Accord giving us the number one and the number two selling models to millennials.